Hello and welcome to my channel. Joel, did you not hear me? <laughs> I'm going to record, I just said. Mm -hmm. My name is Darcy and my son didn't hear me say that I was going to record. And also, I got to fix this so it's not so... It just wants to move. That's the problem. The... Alright, so I have like a gooseneck. I need to find one like Gail's. Cause hers is like straight and she doesn't have it so wobbly as I do. Mine's like super wobbly. Cause mine's a gooseneck. All right, move my cords out of my way. So I started without you, but I kind of said, did I say I would? Oh, sorry. I'm trying to move these cords. They want to be difficult. What, Hallie? Joel, can you give her her food? All right. So I've just kind of been doing some stamping and some um, some stenciling and some stamping. Um, and that one I did. And this one's got some stamping and some stenciling and some more stamping. And then I'm probably going to also go over these with some gesso. And then I need to decide if I want to use, well, I guess when I make them into something is when I can decide if I want to do any decoupage, which is why I've been using permanent inks, which limits my colors, but that's okay. And uh, let's see, after the video, I added a bunch of this um, kind of a seafoam green or a, uh, oh shoot, I forget what it's called. Anyway, it was the mint green and I added some colors to make it not quite so bright minty. And then some seafoam blue I added as well. So, and these are, these ones are like grungy. So I'm trying to figure that out. And then I've got my permanent ink. I've got water, water and can, jet black, coffee, uh, navy blue one, which might not be called navy blue, because heaven forbid. This one I used ink to do the stenciling. Couldn't tell you which way it goes. That one's super grungy. Here's a piece of paper. Got some stenciling and some stamping on that. That has some of the iridescent paint mixed in with the, the seafoam blue. Added a little bit of stamping to that, and I'll do something else with that. This one, I've already like folded it into what I'm probably going to make it into, and I did some marking on this one using my acrylic markers, plus I did some stamping and I gessoed over after I did some marking. So like there's marks there, um, some circles here, there's different marks, I used a few different colors. The most obvious ones are the, the scribbles. But then I thought, I'll, I'll need to line the inside, but I thought that might make a little piece of happy mail put a tag on each side and send that out maybe and this one I already turned into an envelope this one's super grungy but I just did some stenciling if you can see that in the background and then this bigger this is a stamp that I have a bigger stamp and some word stamps and I don't know I've got some some forest moss and some navy blue and some vintage photo on the edges. There's just a, a big old mess. Super grungy. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about it yet. Cobalt. That's the other. That's the blue one I have. Hallie. Oh my goodness. And um, I did order myself an 8x10. What? What? I did order myself an 8x10 jelly plate to play with Hallie. She's very into paper. And also, I think she wants food and my son's not listening to me when I tell him to please give her the rest of her can of food from this morning. Hallie. Hey. Hey. You're kinda in the way right now. Oh, let's get you down there and let's not knock that tray right over. Did I already show these? I showed these, right? Oh, yeah, I did. So, yeah, I'll probably put some gesso over those. Let's move all these out of the way. And then I started doing some stamping on this. Like I said, I'm using permanent ink in case I decide to um, uh, do any decoupage, anything wet on there. That's what I was saying. Uh, where's my... 
one's already gone. Oh, I haven't done this one. And then I also have these. Got some different different backgrounds here. I think I'll do a little bit of oh, I did watering can, so I'm gonna keep with the watering can here. And I don't put it on a thing because I don't want it to come out perfect. And I tried, see how they have the edge like this? I tried to do that on this one because it was perfectly square and I didn't like seeing the perfectly square edges. But I think I need to maybe sand it a little bit because you could still kind of see where like they break right off. Like, I don't know. I wasn't loving it yet, so. And then I have, um, I have stamps and I have, uh, what are they called? Stencils of um, the Harlequin in two different size stencils, actually. But sometimes I try to line it up so it can come down and look like it's seamless, goes all together or whatever. But it doesn't always work. It's not like the Tim Holtz ones that are like. Or, well, it's easier with a stencil to line them up. So, let's say I use the watering can gray on that. And then I want some... Oh, my goodness. Some. And then I'll gesso over that, too. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that on this one so you can see. Do the flora. These aren't necessarily going to all be used on one piece anyway. If I cut them down to make tags or whatever, then it's not a big deal that I'm using like the same flora stamp in three places. All right, let me do a couple more with the stamping and the stenciling. Let's see, how about polka dots? Should we do some polka dots? And um, what color? That's the thing. <clears throat> um, okay, let's do this one so I can do this weird green color. Oh, and also I have... For the ones that I want kind of nature inspired, I've got some leaves. Um, de -dum, de -dum, de -dum. Oops. Lots of stencils, and you don't have to use stencils, you could just make marks on paper as well. Um, and then for my, I've got this is fern green, so we'll just try it and see what it looks like. And you don't have to use a whole the whole stencil. You can just use a part of the stencil. Um, you know, just kind of make it random. You don't necessarily want to go all the way to the edge and make it look like a rectangle. You want it to be a little more flowy, organic. Just kind of giving yourself some some more visual interest, I guess. I can just do stuff. <laughs> do stuff until I like it. I know some of these I don't know if I'll ever like. We'll see. Um, so like this already has these marks. And I always got a little bit of that going on there. And what else? Anything here? Um, maybe we'll do these these dots and the black where the black go I don't necessarily want every dot I kind of want it like that like you know like worn I guess and then I can do a ghost one. 
this one I can line up a little bit so like I can at least go like that so if I want it to be more than just a rect skinny rectangle with our little dots going on there so like I'll go this way and I'll just press some of them and then I'll go over and press some more of them and then I'll go over here and get more there then we have the circles the spots the polka dots just kind of randomly here and there cover some of the stencils some of the paint all the things and then of course you know we like to do our script right <coughs> Let's see. So how's everybody doing today? I am um, I'm tired, but other than that, I'm, I think I'm doing all right. I can't complain. Found my script is damp. All right. Kind of tell by the direction. Even if it doesn't have like real words on it. I think my stamp's starting to break down a little bit. It's just one of those cheap ones. And I try to get it so I don't have this line on the side. I, that's why I like the ones that are a little bit more, um, what's the word? That have like more of a organic edge, I guess you might call it. Okay, so some random script. And this is the one I like. Oh, this one I like. Uh, but I also want to do some, I'm, I'm kind of being random right now, aren't I? I'm like, I want this? No, I want this. No, I want this. Alright, I'm going to see if this will come out. If not, I'll do it in black. This is just the vintage photo, and this is just a skeleton leaf. Which doesn't really show up with the vintage photo, so we'll probably end up using the black. This is the only black I have of the archival is this giant one, so. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Just kind of put my leaves randomly. Do the ghost print. I don't have a flat surface under here, so that's I probably would want to have more of a flat surface. And then you want them to go off the page too. Because you know, you just do. <laughs> I forget why. Somebody said why. It just makes it look more like, you know, I don't know. No, that didn't show. Let's put a darker one there. There we go. So, got some leaves on there. See, like I said, I don't have a flat surface. There we go. So, got some stenciling, some stamping. And then I'm going to do some gesso over that. And then see if I do anything else over that. I don't know. Do I keep putting this one off? I don't mind those. See, I've already got some leaf things going on there, so. Um, I kind of want to try the Sienna. Let's try the Sienna. See what happens. See how we like it or not. It's a little bit dark. All right, it's not as red as I thought it was going to be. Do a little bit of, do a little dance. And I've been watching other people making painty papers. And I think that I want to do different, do them differently next time. Like start with just copy paper. And, oh, who was I watching last night? She's doing a February challenge. 
with the backgrounds. Um, and hers weren't called paper backgrounds. They weren't called pa painty papers. They were called backgrounds. And she had some very cool things. She did like the black stamps in the background and then did paint over that where I have the paper in the background that has some stuff on it. So, yeah, kind of want to try that next time. And the one she did with the uh, wet, wet wipe was the best one. Okay, let me do some script. Okay, I wasn't sure if I even had it upside right, but I guess it doesn't really even matter too much. Can't even see it. There we go. Then, um, let's see. Oh, that one was coffee. Didn't even realize. Wait, was it? Were they both coffee? Which one did I thought I used the sepia, not sienna, sepia. And then I wanted to do this, but I was looking for a brush. That's right. This brush should be all right. <coughs> thought I was gonna fall, but then I didn't. So I like this flower in the middle, and I just kind of go out like that with the flower in the middle. And I like that it's darker in some spots and lighter in other spots. And go out in some of the areas here. And then I like to vary my sizes of stencil too. Like in my stamps, like have some bigger ones and some smaller ones. And I don't use the whole stamp, I'm just kind of, the stencil, I'm just kind of using it in the middle, the middle part of it. And I want to go off the edge a little bit too. And up here a little bit, maybe go off the edge. And if I get it on the paper underneath, I'm not concerned about that. Just gives me a starting point for the underneath, right? So I think that's good for now. I've got what two stamps and a I got the leaves and the flowers and some script. This one's super grungy. Super grungy. I think I like the sepia look, the fun stuff. Alright, so now we can do some swirls. I like the juxtaposition of doing some grunge with like some damask and some swirls and stuff. And I don't think everything has to be like black ink. I don't know. I like to use, I like to vary, just turning this upside down so they're not all going the same direction. And we'll turn it sideways. Oops, my stamp. This is what happens, I guess, when you use uh, texture paste. Your stamps get a little bit weakened. Maybe. Especially want this in some of these spaces where it's lighter so it will show up better. So, got a little bit of swirl going on. And where's my big desk? Where do we go? Ooh, I might use some of this. I like this stamp too. It's not, it's not fancy like a damask, but it's cute. I like it. It's got um like letters and numbers and look kind of like the keys of like a really old one of those old typewriters. 
with the circle keys. So it's fun. It's a fun one. I think I got it at, oh shoot. Did I get it? At, I think I might have got it at Tuesday morning. Um, and maybe a stamp here and there in a bright color. Ooh, maybe that too. Uh, by bright color, I mean. Well, I might end up using this. I don't. I was going to use like a red, but I don't see it anywhere. Right now, I'm looking for my acrylic thing that I just had like a few minutes ago. Let me do a little bit of check. If we have circles. Let's just do some random check here and there. Just for no real reason. Just because we can. A little bit of gingham here and there. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, that might be fun. I use this uh, the stamp cancellation. And just kind of here and there. Put some wavy lines. So you could do like marking with a pen or you could, you know, use like wavy lines like that to do marking with a stamp. Like that. That's fun. That's definitely fun. Well, not sure where my thing, oh, that's got a thing on it. So I don't think that's going to work. Can you put a treat in there? I did last night, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we worry about the boxes. That one's not from Amazon, though. Oh, yeah, that one is from Amazon. But I guess uh, I've heard that Amazon puts a chemical pest repellent on the outside of their boxes. That one's actually a Kleenex box. It doesn't say Amazon on it, so I don't know if it has a but she's on the inside. So, anyway, so you don't want your pets, like biting on the outside of a uh, of a box that comes from well probably anywhere because they probably put pest treatments on most anything these days because you know they're in a warehouse and what are you gonna have in a warehouse sorry to disappoint you but you're gonna have rats in a warehouse just just how it is all right so that one it's got some stamping and okay so now let's let's go to a lighter one real quick Maybe this pink one oh um yeah I kind of stacked them on mine so they got a little stuck together and like this right here is uh this it's um a uh, shelf liner and so I just put it in paint and put it on there to make some little marks. And whoops, I think I'll do some. All right, this I can't ever tell. All right, I see a capital A. That's helpful. <laughs> I saw a letter I recognized. This is a cornflower blue, which is not quite a perfect blue with what's going on there, but that's all right. And I don't want a perfect square. I'm trying to not get a square when I do this. I'm going to do more of... Kind of looks like... I just kind of want it to look like, you know, a little piece of page coming through, right? Let's see. Maybe I could do this one upside right. That would be nice. This little stamp here. Goes this way. in a couple places oh, I should put it sideways too huh? just for it doesn't have to be all going the same direction all the time all right what's next what should we do what should we do 
could use like a really big these are from craft treat and it came with two stencils other ones here somewhere um I think I'll still use the cornflower blue that is the green this is the blue use the right brush it's helpful oh my goodness This one comes out really strong if you use paint. I used it on my sister-in-law's book journal that I made for her. And then doing one off to the side because, you know, that's how a damask would normally be. It would be more like that. The hint of it there. And a hint of it up here. So what I liked about the background on this paper is it's just that wood so everything you put on it whatever you put on it it's gonna look cool so we got some stamp and some stenciling that makes me happy and what about this big one what color should we use I know I use different colors except for I only have a certain amount that are permanent let's see what do I have in here that's permanent Uh, I don't want the chalk. I want the ones that say permanent, like fade resistant dye ink. I think that's kind of what I want. Fade, wait, that one's really bright. Perfect between you. That's the chalk ink. We don't want that. Love letter. That one can work. Chalk ink, no. Okay, but the rhubarb kind of does um when you get it wet that's the problem uh yellow if i wanted to use yellow chalk ink so the ones with the black on the bottom are the i'll probably make it a little pear tart <coughs> and sprout um potter's clay yeah, so in lavender. So the ones with the black on the bottom are the uh, fade resistant dye ink. Pink. I think that's what I wanted. Is some pink. Peanut butter I don't need. I don't really need Morocco or red. Maybe some rosebud. I don't need orange. I want to see what the. I might try some toffee crunch though. We'll see. And then I'm going to dump them over when I try to put them back on that shelf. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, I don't know where. Pink. Let's start with a lighter pink. Let's see if it shows up or not. go this shows up some more looks a little bit more yellow pink than what's on there let's see what it looks like right up against the pink hmm, not bad all right what else well, we're going for circles. Let's try some of this. Might not show up. A little bit. Not much. Maybe I'll try it with, let's see. <coughs> See what this darker one looks like on here. Definitely will be darker. Let's see, it didn't show up there at all. So, all right, that pink kind of it goes with the 
it's, it has less yellow in it and so it's a little bit more in that pink hue type thing so what I might do is go ahead and change my spots I think it might help if I have it the same way both times I don't know what do you think I feel super quiet today I don't I don't feel super talkative I don't know why I mean I'm talking I'm just I don't know I don't know I, I, I like um when you guys can respond live sometimes Sometimes I'm in my own little world and I'm like good with that. And sometimes I'm like, hmm, I don't have anything to say. I need somebody to help. Um, oh, Joel did get his uh, test back finally from last Tuesday and he was positive for COVID. So now he has to find out. I'm hoping they don't make him do the test again because it takes like oh, about a week to get the results from, you know, when you go to the free place. <clears throat> and, you know, he's. He sounds fine. I mean, you know, that little <clears throat> he does is, he gets that anyway from just being alive. <laughs> because he has allergies. That's like a normal sound we're used to. These are almost like giant tulips. See, it's different when you do it as a, um, when you do it through a stamp the color comes out a little bit different although I gotta remember that's like two pinks here all right what else are we overdoing it what 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 are we doing what should we do less more what do a little bit of blue Here and there, maybe. Since we've got some blue here. I hear the other boy moving. It takes Nathan a while to get out of bed. Especially if he doesn't sleep good the night before. It's just part of living with autoimmune disease, I guess. Not quite that fun, is it? Especially when you're 20. <laughs> you have no energy when you're 20. It's, it's a little sad. I just don't like when there's like a straight line on one side. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. <gasps> just dropping stuff now. Do a little bit up here. But you'd think there wouldn't be a straight line, although this side's a little bit more straightish up there, I guess. There we go. So there's some blue and some pink and a little bit of green going on there. And then this one's pretty blue. Should we brighten it up? With some what kind of blue? Well, we started out with a uh, summer sky kind of blue, so maybe we will go back to that. And then that will just kind of well, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll show up on the top there. I've got like three different blues on here right now, so who knows what's going to look like. There we go. So this is Summer Blue Memento Permanent Fade Resistant. I didn't say water resistant, but I think it's just so far the rhubarb I think is the only one I've had issues with. And you know how red pigments can be. This is hard. You need like a third hand. You need something to hold your ink. 
There we go. Got a little bit of that going on. And where's the... I haven't done any numbers. I could do some numbers. I think I'll do some numbers. Do they show up? Yeah, not especially. Let's try it on this side where it's lighter. Otherwise, we'll have to go to like do some darker numbers. Which we might still do. They'll, they'll show up a little bit. Get lots of blue on there. Get some numbers there. Alright, I might do some darker numbers too. And I think I like that um, Sienna. Here we go. Let me do that too. Where'd the Sienna go? There it is. Sepia. Why do I keep wanting to call it Sienna? It's called Sepia. But I keep wanting to call it Sienna. I don't know. Do you know? Sienna Brown. Isn't that like a color in a crayon box maybe? Crayola have a Sienna Brown and that's what that's making me think of. I don't know. Alright, I think I want this. More, more spots, because that'll be fun. I just want, whoops. Just want to get a little bit of that sepia in there. Try not to do it right over actual polka dots, but still have some other kind of, just like that, I guess. What else? Oh my goodness. Oh, I haven't done any houndstooth. Let's do some houndstooth. I love me some houndstooth. And we have a big stencil, and we can still do a little stencil, and a medium stencil. And... Just a little bit here and there. Especially in the darker areas where it's, you don't have as much. <laughs> I was gonna put this stencil on there for some reason. For some reason my brain stopped. All right, now let's play with some gesso. And See what happens. Let's see what happens. Now I like to use a cheap brush, and I'm looking for a paper towel so I can clean the water off my cheap brush. I, I usually can get them at like Walmart for a dollar, maybe at the Dollar Tree too. Um, I bought like a 12 pack, so they ended up being more like. 50 to 80 cents each and um, I mean they say they're pro-grade supplies um, I'm not painting a wall with that that's pretty bad I've only used it a few times but you know what it's perfect for? just dressing stuff I got these on Amazon alright I'm going to let that one sit for a minute since it's got the inks that might need to dry a little bit we'll see so let's move on to, did I do anything with this one? No, I didn't. Why am I picking that one up? Let's find one we did something with. <laughs> All right. So this one's got some inking and some, well, this is, that's the um, damask stamp I was looking for. And I think I can mix it with that couple of the other stamps to make a cute pattern. All right. Oops, that's too much. So, and this is why you always see paint on here. So I just kind of like to come in from the edge. With these. And sometimes I'll go farther. But just kind of a, just kind of a 
kind of a, uh, I don't want a lot of paint on there. Almost like a dry brush. Just getting some gesso on there, which gives it some aging. There. So already that's changed it. And then if I do, <coughs> excuse me, any de decoupage on there or um, inking or anything, the ink will show up more because I have the gesso on there. And then another way to do gesso, find another one of these. I already did gesso on that one. Um, let me find one. They're at the bottom over here. All right. So. Hello? Is someone calling you? Yes, this is the job. So I'm just going to put some on with baby wipe. Just randomly, not necessarily over the whole thing. Thicker and thinner in spots. And that's it. That's just my next layer of just having some gesso. And then with my dry brush again, sometimes uh, because this brush is so weird, I can just go like this and get some fun weird little speckles just using my my messed up brush so I don't know if you can see the little lines that come out on there I like that look too so sometimes I do that and then of course at some point I will probably do my little splatters too I do that all at once because you know who needs to have a lot of splatter out I'm not sure if work is calling him or the CDC because I know my husband after he got his results the CDC called we want to track everybody well big big shocker he got it from his father who got it from work so like oh if I knew where my cutting board was I would cut this down to a tag <clears throat> because we I showed you the envelope earlier um, and there's, I'm sure there's other ways you can do the gesso too, but those are my three main, main ones. And then, let's see. Sorry, rat, I'm cutting you off. And, let's see. I like a nice, that looks a little bit wide. Let's do two and a half. Eh, two and three quarters. That happy. No, three would have probably been good. I'll do the next one, three. So that could be a tag. This could be a journaling card. What? Six feet. He's <laughs> going away himself now. Don't know why they want to know his height and weight, but. Apparently that's something they want to know. Last way about? I don't remember. Was it 160 something or 180 something or I don't know 140 something. I don't know how much you weigh. I don't know how much any of y'all weigh. So if I want to use that the bunny for a tag, I could. And I like if I really wanted to use the rat, I could. Got a little skinny little tag. I don't want to use them or the dormouse. He's supposed to be a dormouse. So we'll just come off and have like a little tiny tag. So this one was cardstock. I would probably, this is a little bit thin though, so I'd probably still back these. And then I would also, what else would I do? I just saw something that probably would be really good for backing on that. That would be good for backing on that. Let's do that. 
Um, um, I had two glues yesterday. Where are they today? What have you done for me lately, glues? You've hidden. That's what you've done. And this is why I have so many open glues about. So now everyone wants to know how much you do weigh, Joel. Let me fill on the phone. That's why I didn't get tested, because I didn't want the CDC calling me. I'm like, I know it's COVID. My husband had it. We all had it. And I was not about to take Nathan out to be exposed to more things. Because he was already fighting one virus. Plus his body fights himself, you know. Autoimmune diseases are such fun. I'm not sure if I will um, sew these or not. I don't do a lot of sewing, but I do like the look. So I like paper like this, which has some interest, but is also um, light enough to be able to write on. Like that little apersand oh, that I have wow. from, it's kind of like a circus kind of a... Should I provide you guys with something? No, we didn't get tested. I don't oh, want yeah, the yeah, CDC yeah. calling me. I don't want them calling me. We never left the house, so. Yeah, there's like a non-zero chance. There's like zero chance that Nathan and I passed it on to anyone. No, like there's a non-zero chance we didn't have coronavirus. For oh. like, <laughs> but we don't want to talk to the CDC. It, it's like a 99.9999% recording, by the way. Yeah. chance we didn't have, we, that we did have coronavirus. Right. Um, and also an unrelated disease with the same symptoms. Right. And then didn't get it from... Alright, I want a watering can. I don't want it super dark. Taller now, a little bit shorter now. Do I want that tag that tall? Should have done it that. No, I couldn't. Apperson's upside down. Seems tall. Well, alright. It's alright. It could be tall. I mean, you tested positive like almost a week ago. I know. It's just silly. Um. But anyway, but we're feeling so much better now, making videos and everything. Um, well, I guess I use this because I'm not sure where my distress one is. Also, not sure where my anything is right this second. Oops. Just. I just got a drawer full of sponges and stuff, you know, and then I just put them in there. Oh, that's not really straight down there. Didn't really thicken it up much. Probably wouldn't have hurt to back this with actually some cardstock, probably. So yeah, you can use your pinky papers and you can just make tags, envelopes, pockets. You can use them for collage. Um, I don't know, like, I'll have to use some in collage sometime. I'll, I'll figure something out, but I'm gonna keep playing and y'all don't have to watch me all day just playing with pinky papers. But I wanna show, um, oh man, I wish I could, I, I just subscribed to her. Um, whoever she is that, that did the background papers that looks so great that's what I'm going to try next is what she did so hopefully the next video I will be doing that she did like on um, artist paper artist grade paper 
and so I'm going to try it on copy paper and see how it comes out. Because she was making a master board, so she was using like the A3, which is like, you know, like a, uh, what, 17 inch, 14 or 17 inches by, four, I don't know, big piece of paper. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you all, and thank you for coming and hanging out with me and just watching me mark, do more on the papers. And, you know, you could just do some marking, too. Um... What I, I use these for my marking, which are some inexpensive, um, inexpensive, what are they called? Alcohol markers. And so you could just be like, I don't know, give me a shape. Somebody give me a shape. <laughs> or you could just do X's even. And you could use any color. A lot of people like to use black. Um, and then, let's see, the other thing I did before was I just kind of pretended I was writing, but didn't really write anything. And I can't seem to do that small, so it's just some marking. Or, let's get some black maybe. These are double-ended, these markers that I got on Amazon. So they have a, a bold, a broad tip, like that. And then they have, I mostly use the, thin, the fine tip. It says they're alcohol markers. I haven't tried them on like a Tim Holtz people or anything yet to see if they stay on there. Um, oops. They do spread a little bit. And the thing with marking is you just do it without really thinking about it. Um, when I was doing the card before, I liked how I was doing something more like that. Do you want the chicken cord in No. What else? I mean, it could just be as simple as that, just... I don't know why I do this on the edge. I could do it in the middle. Just little dots and whatnot. Um, So yeah, just some marking. Yeah, I was done, wasn't I? No, I'm never done. I'm all, I always have, you know me, there's always a little something more. Um, just kind of going back over these. These are the really grungy ones. Really grungy ones. This one needs some check, doesn't it? Maybe some navy blue check. Maybe that's what it needs. Not that you can tell that it's navy blue. But, you know, gingham and polka dots, that's a fun combo, right? Heaven forbid there be like a blank spot anywhere. <sighs> All right. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. It's just so super grungy, I think. So what do you do with one you really don't like? Yeah, we were done, weren't we? I have to combine the videos anyway. I'm already at an hour too, I think. So you don't have to stay for this. I'm going to find myself a paper towel, which I had a minute ago. 
Okay, here they are. And... I was thinking of having posture, because I haven't had posture in a little while. <laughs> but now I can go even longer without having more posture if I have this. What is that? Noodles. Oh, that's pasta. No, it's noodles. It's noodles. Oh, okay. So, I like a grungy look, but sometimes it just comes out in a way that I am i don't like it. So then, you just, um, you use gesso. It's kind of like a, almost like a blank slate, but not really got way too much on there. Oh, and now I have it on my neck. So, this... I will now, once it dries, I'll do some stamping and stenciling on there, and maybe, I don't know, it depends what colors I choose. Um, so yeah, when you have something you don't like, <laughs> just gesso, gesso fixes everything. And now it's like totally, I'm sad that I've lost all my, well, there's tiny bits showing through of the paper I put on there. But I think it was the, the, uh, uh, the, oh my goodness, that olive -y color that we put on there that just looked not so great with the black, the brown background and I don't know. So anyway, I'll let that dry and I'll mm -hmm. play with this some more and, um, I'll, in my next video, I think I will go ahead and show you what I've done with these papers before we start our next thing. And one of our next things is going to be on um, this mess on my floor over here. We'll work through that together. Won't that be fun? <laughs> fun for you? I don't know. Some people like to watch that. You can, you can uh, clean your craft area at the same time. So let's see. I think I showed you everything that we worked on today. And I think you saw all the other ones that I... Let's see. And then, you know, that's... I don't know. What do you guys think of these? Some of them, I don't know. I I don't know how I like some of them. We'll, but, you know, they're not done yet. There's still lots to do. And that was the envelope. This is, yeah. It's, I don't know. I mean, in the right journal, I'm sure they'd be great. And they all coordinate a little bit because they all have that teal and the yellow and the seafoam green or whatever. All right. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a delightful day, says the girl from Massachusetts with all her y'alls because she's been living in Virginia so long. <laughs> Bye, guys.